the time to get out of your mental shackles. You have been imprisoned mentally in your brain by being taught certain things to keep you reliving the same cycle. Today is the day to break them shackles. Today, energetically, it's pushing you to break them shackles. So all you have to do is let go. Let your subconscious higher self take full control. Let your ego be co-pilot. Your ego was only taught what it was supposed to be taught to get to where you are now, okay? I'm not judging past mishaps, but your ego is only indoctrination. So you have to pick it up from other people, uh, experiences that you that you lived through, uh, interactions with different people, the knowledge that you're being given. Yeah, that's all controlled with your ego. That's all, I mean, it all bases in your ego, right? So what I'm telling you is let go of the ego because your ego is only linear. Think more on your subconscious. We've been put in these things to like look at each other as enemies, but we're more, we're family. We are like more connected than anything, okay? If you're watching this video, we are connected. I'm being real with you. There's a reason why you're watching this video because you are connected. You're your reflection again. So I want you guys to start thinking like that. The reason why I'm telling you, the reason why this word is so important today is because today is the day. Everything is in, in your favor. The energies, the planets, everything is driving you to break them shackles. I'm telling you, the way the planets are set off, the way the cosmos is going, everything, divine consciousness really wants you to break them shackles. That is why you are, that's why you are healthy because it knew, it knew you would pass the test. It knew you would win. You will make it to the finish line. You are at the finish line. Just do that last little bitty thing. Let ego go. Let ego be in the back seat. Don't let ego drive you anymore. Ego is not supposed to be pilot. It's not. Your higher self subconscious is God consciousness. Is Christ is everything consciousness. It's what you're made out of. That is what that is what's inside of me and inside of you. I'm telling you this for a reason. Let that be your captain. Let that drive you. I promise you, that's your intuition. Once you live and you operate on your intuition, you know how powerful, you know how happy, you know how fulfilled you are going to be in this moment, not later, not tomorrow, not a year from now, in this moment. This is something that you are meant to experience now, not any other time. I'm telling you this because I'm telling myself, yo. I'm speaking to myself, speaking to you, and if anybody want to relate a message, pick up, bro, let me know what you grasp from this. But anyone, and I, I don't base this off of ethnicity, color, religion, no. If you are a reflection, meaning that you feel, you vibrate on the same frequency, it's not about color so much, bro, we got to get off that. That's again, it's 3D aspect, because to be honest with you, they threw them under the bus too. They threw all of it. They threw everybody underneath the bus. If you ain't with them, you underneath the bus. I'm saying so love everybody. Begin to operate in unison. Everybody has something to offer that's great for this world. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you this because I just, I wish everybody can just operate on this because everybody will live in bliss. There'll be nobody homeless. There'll be nobody has to go without. Nobody has to live in a state of fear. Nobody. It's not meant to be like that. We walk around, you know, well, not me, but people walk around toting their guns and their, their low riders and their do, do, do. But you know what that is? Predictability because they expect you to use it on people that's in the same boat as them. That's not controlling shit. That has to go and work a job. Yes, a job is great. Bringing in, taking care of your family is great but not at the cost of your happiness. It's never, it's never supposed to be at the cost of your happiness, never. You are never supposed to be miserable just to provide for your family. That is anarchy, that's boom. You can't ever tell me that. I don't believe that. That's why I meant everybody, that's why I say everybody's here to create. Everybody can create and provide for their families, everybody. No one has to go without, especially with the bartering system. Shit, bro. If anyone ever can't work or handicapped, we just give them what they need, yo. Anybody, bro. It don't matter because everybody needs help because we, who feels it, knows it. We need to put that out there. Pay it forward, yo. We can't think, no, just because this person has a mishap and you just want to flaunt because you're up. Because then I guarantee God will be like, okay, that was a test for you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this person up and I'm going to put you down now. And now you have to feel what this person feels. I'm being real, yo. That's why under any circumstance, no matter how I may feel because it's a reflection of inside, I would only give, no matter if they like me or not, give. Why? Because it's a reflection. 
Christ's divine consciousness would do the same thing to you that it did this didn't matter matter of fact it brought them it brought them in front of you just to test you I know think of it like that you're being tested if it's in front of you you could do it this or you could do it that are you gonna pass the test or are you gonna fail the test but just know if you fail the test then you gotta deal with what that person's dealing with I know that's karma that is karma that that is what the cause of energy and exchange is that cause of exchange if you if you flex or push this one or try to belittle this one because you're up at that moment or up period and that one's down yes guess what happens karma's like okay which is divine consciousness like okay all right okay you want to do that all right that's why i only show love i never get upset every every single time i'm telling you you never have to get upset ever if a person laughs at you makes fun of you uh tries to put you in a state of like you know embarrassment because you're unable to feed yourself at that moment you're unable to find work you're looking but you realize that Vegas is being filled up so quickly with people that they're hiring other advocates over you because I don't know why I'm guessing their resume so at that that's the time the most when you're supposed to show them people to love the people that got the job over you even though you applying every day you applying for new jobs you going out there you looking you leave at like six you come back shower just to rinse off all of that headache and and just the you know constant re and then you have to go back out there and do it again just to refresh yourself you know what i'm saying it, it's it's something else so I wouldn't wish that on anybody. So you up right now, you need to show love to the people that's down because I guarantee the moment you try to boast, especially in this time, it's not it's not tolerating that other frequency, that vibration, that lower shit anymore. It's not it's not doing that. I'm I'm trying to help y'all ascend and be in this realm healthy with everybody. But if anybody tries to operate on low, low evil deity shit, I guarantee divine gonna be like, yo, time's up. It's a different day. It's a different. It's a different frequency. It's a different era. You can't tolerate that old low shit no more. Yes, it still loves that individual, but it can't exist in this realm of reality anymore because it's not the moment for that anymore. So I'm telling you, let go of all of that, man. Let go of all toting your weapon and trying to boast and trying. To, I'm telling you, yo, that lowers you down and that makes you a target telling you yeah it's good to protect yourself but it's a vibration of fear i'm trying to tell y'all that vibration of fear is what's bringing those adversaries so if you didn't vibrate on that fear you would not even need those so i'm saying i've never had a weapon never never needed it i had four guns pulled on me last year i know two guns at the end of last year and then two guns throughout the middle and beginning of last year where they do that and i didn't need it dude pulled it out i said go ahead shoot me Please, why would I want to live here anyway? Dude cried, gave me a hug, ended up buying me some ice cream. I know, right? Well, he gave me $20 to get some ice cream. But uh, that's the last dude. But I'm saying, yo, I'm like, if you feel like you need to shoot me with your gun, go ahead. You're not doing me. Like, why are you? You're not upsetting me. I mean, it's just meant I'm not supposed to be here. That's all it is. I'm not supposed to be here anymore, and that's okay. That's okay. If you feel like you need to end my life so you can be happier or feel like you need to boast or feel entitled or love yourself, then go ahead, man. I don't. Eh. What's that going to do for me worried about it? What's that, How that going to make me feel at the end of the day? I was going through an interesting time then and my channel just got deleted and it was doing very well and my channel got deleted. I was depressed. I was doing videos. I'm at the park. Dude comes and he's like, First, he blasted his high beams on me. He has an F4150, you know, a, a, a VA. So that shit's bright. Brights his lives on me. I didn't care. I didn't look. I, I, I looked. I stopped. You know what I'm saying? I'm editing. I looked. I stopped. I go back to work. Walks around, stares at me. Barks his dog, comes right by me. I'm work. You know, at this moment, I'm just a little, you know, weirded out. But, you know, I, I'm still working. I'm just, okay, it's the park. That I, you know. I didn't even mention it. High beam's still on. Then I'm like, hey, sir, do you. Is there a problem? Is there anything? Because he's like staring at me. He's right next to me, like two feet away and just staring at me. And I'm like, and his dog. And I'm like, sir, and it's a big guy. It's a, a real big guy. So it's not a problem, but it, you know, it's a big guy. So it's a little bit awkward. Staring at me. I'm like, hey, sir, do I know you? Is there a problem? He's like, what you talking about? And I'm like, huh? I could tell it was an animosity. It was nothing. There was nothing that I could have said that made him upset. He was already. And I'm like, excuse you. So I just ignore 
then I just immediately go and stretch. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to release this. Stretching is the best way. He goes in his gun, turns on. He goes in his car, turns on his high beams again. After they shut off, like, it was only off for like a couple, couple minutes. He turns them on. He beams him right in front of me. Of course, he parts in a way. You know, I didn't think that he was immediately trying to attack me. But when he turns it on the third time and gets his gun and comes up by me, says, is there a problem? And walks around me again. I'm like, what do you mean there's a problem? I'm like, oh, what are you talking about? And I'm getting ready. Like, you know what? I'm going to move to the other side of the park. He's like, you know, what? I got something for you. Pulls out his gun, keeps it up under him, you know, hides in his pants, but keeps it to where it's low, to where not many people can see it. There's children and women everywhere. There's children, kids, women everywhere. And I'm like, nobody paid attention. Nobody saw. I'm like, go ahead. You know, and that's just to sum it up, like, things are going to try to upset you. I just told you that scenario because I, he was feeling some kind, inside of him, he didn't feel like he was enough. He felt like he needed a gun to hurt somebody that is just in the rat race, no different than him. That's living, trying to feed himself, trying to live, trying to get through this life, just like him. Be better, do better. We should not be trying to come at each other like that we gotta rise up so we so everyone can live good we gotta rise up we gotta do better i'm not saying don't have any weapons or whatever all i'm saying is don't be quick to just try to end some person's life just because your emotions felt flare because you felt like inside that he is doing something to agitate you because you never know what that person's going to do that person may just not care it may just be like Go ahead. Do what you have to do. It is what it is. At the end of the day, I don't have to be. In, you don't have to relive the constant pain anymore. Being anguish. Cause to be honest with you, that shit's quick. You would never know. But the constant pain of living every day and having to experience anguish while you're attempting and raising your vibration to try to uplift Planet Kai. So that way people can live in high energy spirits. You never can make this shit up.